The rain-soaked cobblestone streets of London glistened like tarnished silver under the dim glow of streetlights. The year was 1965, a time when secrets were traded like whispers in the night and love was as dangerous as a loaded gun. Detective Johnny Ryder moved through the mist, his fedora pulled low and his trench coat billowing like the shadows that danced across the city. Johnny Ryder was a man of few words, his past etched in the lines on his weathered face. He had seen the underbelly of the world and he wore its scars like badges of honour. On this murky night, a call from the London police had drawn him to the scene of a murder that smelled as foul as the Thames itself. In a dimly lit alleyway, the lifeless body of a man lay sprawled amidst the refuse. The glint of a stolen diamond, once worth a king's ransom, was now nestled in the killer's pocket. The victim's identity was as elusive as the truth, a puzzle that Ryder was determined to solve. As he crouched over the body, a voice cut through the chill air. Johnny Ryder, it purred, a sultry melody that could tempt a saint to sin. Ryder's eyes lifted and there stood Maisie Monroe, a woman whose allure was as intoxicating as a shot of whiskey on a cold night. Maisie's red lips curved into a smile that held a secret. She was a vision of beauty and danger, a siren whose song had the power to drown a man's reason. Her eyes held a mixture of longing and desperation as they locked onto Ryder's. Johnny, her voice trembled, I need your help. You're the only one I can trust. Ryder's gaze remained steady, his thoughts a tangle of suspicion and desire. He had known Maisie for years, a woman whose heart had been wrapped around his like ivy on a brick wall. Their history was a maze of stolen glances and missed opportunities, a dance that had never found its rhythm. As the rain fell like a curtain, Maisie's story unfolded like a noir narrative. The murdered man was her lover, a criminal with a taste for danger and a talent for theft. The stolen diamond was their ticket to freedom, a fortune that could unravel the threads of their past. But someone else had sought the diamond, and now death had claimed its price. With each step deeper into the investigation, Ryder unearthed a labyrinth of lies, deceit and betrayal. The city's underbelly was alive with whispers, each one pointing a finger in a different direction. Maisie's love for Ryder was as palpable as the danger that surrounded them, but he knew that in this world of shadows, trust was a currency that could bankrupt even the wealthiest. In a final confrontation, the truth glimmered like a jewel in the darkness. Maisie had been woven into a web of deception, a pawn in a game played by ruthless players. The stolen diamond had been the prize, but it had led to a trail of blood that only Ryder could follow. With the rain still falling, Ryder stood before Maisie, his heart a battleground of emotions. You played a dangerous game, he murmured, his eyes locked onto hers. Maisie's gaze held a mixture of regret and longing. I did it all for us, Johnny. Ryder's hand reached out, his fingers brushing against her cheek. Love isn't always enough he whispered, his voice a lament for a future that had never been. As the rain washed away the sins of the city, Johnny Ryder walked away from Maisie Monroe, his steps echoing through the labyrinth of London's streets. In a world of smoke and mirrors where love and danger danced a deadly tango, he had learned that even the brightest diamonds could leave the darkest stains.